let me see if I remember the name is it the heated jacket um, premium J501 RP hi guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos I've been extremely busy with the cafe races series I hope you've been watching and enjoying so if you're anything like me and you ride all year round I've been thinking about getting either a winter jacket or a heater jacket heater jacket I've heard a lot about them but I never really considered but uh, in the last few rides I was freezing and I had I have heated gr uh, grips on my motorbike I do layer up but still is extremely cold especially because riding a naked bike you get all that wind hitting you and the, when it's really cold or if you get a little bit wet it, it makes uh, the ride not so enjoyable I've looked um, through all the options available out there maybe not all but the, the most uh, um, noticeable ones or the most um, popular ones and it, it comes down to three brands so one of them is uh, Gerbin or Gerbin uh, however you put, want to pronounce it I think it's pronounced Gerbin but they do plenty of uh, um, jackets and trousers everything you know gloves everything and they are very popular they do a lifetime warranty and uh, I saw quite a few reviews and they were really really good but I uh, really liked the, the jackets I wasn't checking on gloves and if you know me I need to have everything that looks pretty uh, good together and uh, I like sticking to a one ecosystem so if I'm buying with one brand I want to carry on um, uh, uh, with all the other um, parts from the same brand so everything connects and I don't have any issues with it so it's really important to get uh, choosing the right brand so the other brand that is really popular as well is the uh, Kais so Kais is a, another British brand that uh, you know is extremely popular I think it's they both you know Jobin and the Kais they both uh, claim to be the UK most popular heated jack uh, heated clothing brands which I, I don't know uh, if that's true uh, I don't really care but uh, uh, Kais has a really good reputation they also do a lifetime warranty so you know whatever you buy with them it's, it's going to be you know you're going to be protected everything that you can think of they'll have they even have inner soles for your motor for your boots so that would be something that I actually thought that could be a really good one because the, the, there's two areas that I feel really cool my hands and my feet uh, the last but not least is uh, um, is the warm and safe and this one I came across uh, at the uh, motor legends they actually did a YouTube video about it and they, they explained the reason why they opt to, to actually supply Warm and Sound. It's an American brand and the, a lot of customers actually talking about it and asking them to, to sell those products because uh, they thought it was a bit more comprehensive and better quality product. They do have a really good range as well um, and uh, so I thought, you know what, um, th these are the th three brands that I could, should uh, consider. So I looked through all the reviews and the one that resonated with me the most uh, was the Kais one. And this is the, uh, the box that came in. So basically, I ordered from Sports Direct. To, uh, again, I don't have uh, any affiliation with any brand whatsoever uh, uh, or, or store, but uh, they just seem to have pretty much the best range of uh, uh, clothing, gear, um, uh, parts and uh, it's, you get the next, next day delivery which is really convenient and quite easy to return any product if you're unhappy or you ordered the wrong thing so for that reason I keep uh, uh, buying and, uh, products with them and I'm extremely happy with it this is the box that uh, comes in and uh, for some reason I think this has a, a, a control already but for some reason they offered this one as well and this is the power controller but I I'm not too sure I heard that this is a Bluetooth one but I'm not too sure I've seen I've seen in some webs uh, some reviews that they talk about this one and they mentioned the uh, ability to connect via Bluetooth they uh, they sent this free of charge and I don't know if this is necessary 
so let's open up the box and see what comes in. So this is um, the Kais, uh, let me see if I remember the name, is uh, the heated jacket um, premium J501 RP, it's, it's a mouthful. Uh, and uh, <coughs> being dyslexic is not the, the, the easiest thing to say. So what comes in the box is obviously the jacket and the, the bike uh, connectors, so to connect straight to the battery. Uh, again, the, you, it comes with uh, different fuses, so depending on the, the equipment you're going to wear, so each fuse will be for the right amount of amps that you're going to be draw, uh, drawing from the battery. I wonder if you could just put the highest one and then you don't have to worry about it, you can just uh, wear whatever you want. So this one, it did, doesn't seem like it, came, uh, it comes with a controller and I guess that's the reason why they supply this one. This jacket, the, one of the improvements that I know and <laughs> uh, that they've done is obviously put to the design and the other one is actually uh, to the thickness of the jacket so they made it a, a little bit thinner uh, and this is how it kind of looks. So it's pretty, it's pretty nice. The material is really nice and comfortable, and the the neck liner on the inside is really soft. So it's never going to aggravate you too much. Uh, one thing to bear in mind when you order a jacket like this uh, from um, Kais is you need to go a size down because the, for for many reasons. One of them is because it's a heated jacket, so you want it as tight as possible to your body, so it warms you up. And the, the other reason is if you wanted to wear an outer jacket, which you should on a motorbike, so you need uh, something that is going to be as tight as possible, so you can put your jacket in with no problems. So this comes with a, a chest pocket here, it has nothing, it's just a little pocket. And then this one, here, I don't know if you can see. This has the connector, so you pull this out uh, to connect with the, uh, with the controller. So you can see here the controller, let me show you. Has, uh, has the two connectors, so you connect this here. Uh, and, and, and I think this will hang around your, your leg, your lap. So as you ride, you, you can easily access. So, and it's just one button, so it just goes uh, from on to high to medium to low or press and hold you'll um, uh, go to you'll turn it off so then you have a normal pocket uh, yeah on each side so it has elastic sides and they're quite stretchy so for that reason you can really go quite low so one of the things that I've noticed straight away when I looked at Kai's they have a lot of accessories uh, to connect this. So one of them which I was very close to buy and I might even buy is this cigarette lighter accessory. So this instead of connecting straight to the battery and you need to leave the cables there you can actually just have um, the, the cigarette lighter and it connects straight to the jacket and uh, for that reason you can move it to any bike you ride. So if you have more bikes great and then you can just change it from one bike to the other without having too many connections or making or buying uh, parts for all every different bike the other thing that uh, uh, is much better than other brands especially I think is better than uh, uh, Jobing, Jobing is uh, if you see their controller, the controller, so the control connects to, to the jacket, and the control also connects to the to the uh, the cable that uh, comes from the battery. So it's a bit messy, and I've, I've seen if you see the reviews on those jackets, uh, the uh, Jobin ones, you see that uh, they have a lot of cable to manage. So they they have to pretty much put it all together in shove it in the pocket and it looks clumsy and uh, looks a bit messy and I think it's gonna you know it's gonna be quite big inside your pocket and it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna be that comfortable but I think you know small details like that are extremely important uh, for me uh, and I'm guessing you'd be the same so let's just connect here so you just connect these ones and then uh, you just replace with the remote and uh, it just well you do female to male and the other way around on the next one so these are the connections 
and you can kind of leave it like this I'll show you so you can kind of leave it like this hanging from the jacket so this will kind of fall on your lap and then you can pretty easily so this will go uh, underneath your jack your riding jacket and you can easily find it and it's a, a quite small to notice and you'll be able to see with the colors so the inside this is how, how bad I am doing reviews, eh? Um, <laughs> uh, so this is if you this is a connector if you want to connect to your trousers, uh, and I think they do. Yeah, they do the sil uh, the sleeve ones uh, for your gloves, um, and everything goes in quite nicely. Let me just put this on, uh, and then I'll show you how does it look. So I'm usually um, 44. Uh, inches on my chest um, and so I got the size down which was a 42 and the, this is how it looks um, and to be honest I wouldn't go any you know there is a little bit of giveaway everywhere but I wouldn't go any smaller because uh, otherwise I think I will struggle to move uh, but this is how it looks it's, it's really nice and cozy and to be honest just wearing this at the moment in the garage I'm fine I could actually be like this I don't know if I'll be okay outside without the heating but uh, it feels nice and comfortable the neck lining is really uh, really comfortable really soft you do feel a little bit of the cables there and I wonder how it feels with the jacket on uh, on the pocket as well you feel a little bit but nothing I don't think it will be enough to annoy you uh, on the ride I guess the longer you ride for the more annoying these things could become the jacket that I've been wearing lately to ride which is my bell stuff and this is this is my favorite jacket um, I'm gonna take the line because th that's what they advise in, in, um, is to remove the inner liner of your jacket to give you a little bit more room when you put the jacket on so let me have a go this might look really clumsy on the camera apologies for that but, uh, okay so how does it feel tight a little bit tight and uh, to be very honest with you and a lot of times people tend to wear like um, you know textile jackets and I think they, they usually a bit more they, they have a bit more giveaway so they fit nicely but to be honest it's not too bad let me close this and uh, yeah so how does it look you can't even tell I'm wearing it very happy with the product so far I'm gonna connect it to the bike now um, let's uh, go fit the um, the cable and the right fuse and the right fuse I can tell you right now uh, which one would be they have it's a color coded which is really simple and it tells you the garment and the uh, and the amp draw that it gets from the, the battery so I'm gonna take a photo anyway but I'll show you you probably won't be able to see it from here but I'll, I'll take a photo and I'll show you on the camera hey guys so I've fitted the cable to the battery this is how it looks on me so here's the uh, controller and this is where it connects to the bike so let's go on the bike I'll show you where I fit it so it comes through here I don't know if you can see the cable yeah you can probably see it goes all around and I hidden it be behind that do you see and uh, this gives me plenty so I can actually come out of the bike I can actually come out of the bike stand next to it so you can easily see the cable so you can connect it but this is a, a really nice little uh, place to put it yeah, you should put it obviously on the left hand side because that's where the connector is on your jacket otherwise you're going to have a cable going from one side to the other it's just uh, a little bit uh, odd plus you usually come into the bike from the left hand side anyway so it all kind of makes sense I connected the, um, the heating I turn it on I put it on medium and if you feel it instantly honestly it's not a bad looking jacket actually um, so, you know these things sometimes are easier uh, to see in person than than online so I definitely recommend this so far but uh, I will go on the ride 
just to, to make sure in the long ride it makes a massive difference because that's the whole point. If I sit on the bike and show you how it all fits, so I'm sitting on the bike without actually pulling the cable, it should fa be fairly easy to get it and I did so you just disconnect this, apologies, just have one hand to use so you connect it, now it's connected, you leave it there let's uh, give it a go so long press and it goes to high, medium and low so guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really loving this. It's nice and cozy. Uh, I actually uh, really like it. I think I might even wear it around the house instead of putting a big jumper. Go and check it out if you want to carry on riding throughout the winter. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it. Subscribe because I'll have a few more videos coming uh, out soon and uh, a few more rides, right? There's a few more coffee shops to go and visit. So, anyway, until the next one, take care. Bye.